College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences informational session at the University of Georgia Griffin campus. My name is Kathleen Freeman and I am the program coordinator for the College of Ag at the University of Georgia Griffin campus and I am here today to just share a little bit more information about the programs offered um, at the College of Ag as a whole and also specifically at the University of Georgia Griffin campus. Um, my contact information is on the screen and I'll share a, again a little bit later but if you have any questions um, about the presentation or the information shared um, or as we talk about a little bit later if you would like a transfer plan all of my information is up there. Um, email is probably the best way but you can also email uh, or give me a call at the office phone or my cell phone and I'll get back with you. Um, also if you notice we are um, in Griffin so I have an office in Griffin that's where I'm located so anytime you want to drop by um, feel free to do so. We do offer campus tours um, and then we can also sit and talk in person about your options to transfer to University of Georgia Griffin campus. So kind of just to start my presentation I always like to share my own journey. Um, this is me in high school. I graduated um, from a smaller uh, private school in Hampton. That's where I'm from, born and raised. Um, so it's about 20 minutes away from Griffin. So I'm used to the area down here. Um, so that was me in high school. Um, like I said, I was very active in organizations. Um, I was the class president. Um, so I graduated high school in 2011. Um, I like to joke that I was in the top 10% of my class because I had nine people in my graduating class. So whoop, whoop. Um, from there, I went on to Gordon. State College um, and I got my two-year associates in business degree um, so that was in 2013 and so when I graduated from Gordon with my associates I was really unsure of what I wanted to do to continue I knew I wanted to come and get my bachelor's degree but I just wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to go and so kind of similar um, to what you guys are doing right now I listened to a informational session about the University of Georgia Griffin campus and so it really kind of got my gears thinking about where I wanted to go and put Put that into motion. So after I graduated from Gordon State, I then transferred to the University of Georgia Griffin campus. Um, and these two pictures right here um, mean a lot to me, and it's something that I like to share with my incoming students. So the top picture is actually in Sanford Stadium, and so when you graduate with your bachelor's degree, um, you actually graduate in between the hedges, as we like to call it. So the same place you see the football players playing, that's exactly where you will get to um, move your tassel on your graduation cap. And so then the bottom picture is at our Griffin campus specifically and so when you graduate all of our students are given a brick with their name and class year on it and so that's me at the brick ceremony laying it so you have a ceremony here at our Griffin campus which is a little bit more intimate um, and then you can go to Athens and participate in those ceremonies as well. Just to go on with my own journey, um, this is me graduating from Kennesaw State with my Master's of Business Administration. I like to put this picture up here and show it. Um, this is me and my dad, and he is the main reason that I continued on to get my Master's. And I like to tell my students that build those relationships now with those people in your house, your friends, your guardians, grandparents, um, parents, friends, whoever it may be, make sure you build those connections now um, because if you go off to college, say you move out of state, or even if you go an hour down the road, you're gonna want those people where you can call up and just explain what's going on without having to explain the backstory or what's going on. And so it's gonna make your college success a lot easier um, when you have those relationships already built. And like I said, just having that support system like my dad always pushing me um, to keep going because he knew I could succeed at a level that I didn't even know I could succeed at. So it always helps to just make you a better person at the end of the day. So this is what we do with our incoming freshman class. Um, now if you come into the University of Georgia Griffin campus, unfortunately you won't be able to participate in this. But I do like to point this out. Um, a lot of people don't realize there is another way to get into University of Georgia and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. So this is what we call the Super G welcome photo and so each year um, our freshman class goes out onto the field and takes a picture and this is our class of 2023 and so it's not the current one. We're still waiting on all the data and information but um, so the class of 2023 just to kind of give you a little bit of background information. Um, this is the average um, and the range that they're looking for when it comes to admission. So the average GPA for that class that you just saw was a 4.02. Um, their SAT was a 1359 and ACT was a 31. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but when I was in high school, I was pretty smart. 
um, you know, like I said, I, I thought I did really well in high school, but you know, I did other things. I had extracurricular activities. I was in plays. Um, you know, I went to the football games, sports games, things like that. And so having a 4.04, .04, that would have been near impossible for me. But yet I still graduated from the University of Georgia. I went to the University of Georgia Griffin campus. I still have the same diploma that every student that applies as a freshman when you see these these scores right here. It's the same diploma saying, signed by the same president. Um, so I was able to still have the, the benefits of becoming a UGA student, um, just with a little bit of a, a detour. And we're gonna explain that detour to you as as well today. Um, so like I said, these are the average scores if you are looking at freshman admissions. This is this is generally the scores that you're going to have to have. Um, all of this can be found on the welcome.uga.edu page and as well as our admissions site. Um, so for, for more information about freshman admissions, please look there. Um, however, like I said, we do have a little bit of a different way for you to get to University of Georgia. Um, by transferring to the University of Georgia Griffin campus, we can get you um, on the roadmap to becoming a University of Georgia graduate. So just to kind of give more information about who we are and what we offer, so we actually have three campuses you can study at. Now all of these campuses do offer, offer College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences degrees, which that's my specialty, so that's what I'm gonna be talking to you about today. Um, so we have our campus in Griffin, which we're at right now. Um, we also have a campus in Tifton, Georgia, which is about um, two and a half to three hours south of Macon, which is just strictly College of Agricultural degrees. And then we also have a campus in Athens. Maybe you've heard of it, you know, football game Games, all that jazz. Um, so either, um, all three of those campuses you can transfer into. Um, Griffin and Tifton you can transfer after 60 transferable credit hours. And then Athens you can transfer with uh, 30 credit hours or 60 credit hours. So just to give a little bit more about who we are at the University of Georgia Griffin campus. Um, so we are, like I said, we are University of Georgia. There is no difference, just the location. So the same classes, the same degree, um, the same experiences are offered to you as a University of Georgia Griffin student. Um, so we do offer smaller class sizes. Um, you get a really personal feel, um, family oriented. A lot of our students say they enjoy our campus because it is kind of like building a family of your own. Um, a lot of our students are sad when they graduate because they're leaving that family behind. Um, we also offer cutting edge directed research opportunities. We have researchers um, known worldwide here on our campus specifically doing research and looking for students to be in their labs. And that student could be you. What great opportunity to put that on your resume. Um, and a lot of our researchers have connections across the world. So if you want to work, you know, CDC or, you know, a research lab or somewhere, even, you know, maybe in England, um, in California, a lot of our researchers have connections so it's easier for you to build your network um, and also build up your references when you start applying to either jobs or graduate school. Kind of to build on that, like I said, we have access to the world-renowned faculty. So all of that is here at your fingertips at the University of Georgia Griffin campus. We also offer personalized instruction. And so it's really geared toward um, the students that are coming in almost as a cohort. And so, um, you know, it's personalized to you and your group of students that are taking classes. Um, like I said before, we are University of Georgia, so you get that UGA degree and national reputation. No matter where you go in the world, someone is gonna know the University of Georgia name. Um, and so that goes with you wherever you go. I tell my students, you know, um, smaller colleges are great, but if you moved, say, to Colorado, somebody might not know the smaller campus that you went to, they're gonna have to look it up and do some research. But if you show up in a job interview with the University of Georgia on your resume, they're gonna know where that came from. And just to kind of build on that, we. Have have uh, 320,000 alumni uh, across the globe and so we have alumni chapters all over the world so no matter where you go um, you can build they do football game watching parties they do um, career events um, just networking events just to kind of get back you know with their college friends and things like that so no matter where you go that is always um, at reach for you too. So the question we always get asked is, are you eligible for football tickets? And the answer is yes. You can still apply for the lottery for football tickets as a student. As I've said before, you are a University of Georgia student, so there's no difference, just location. So you do have to pay the athletic fee and then you are put into the lottery and so you still have the access to the football tickets just like every other student. 
Just to kind of go more specifically into the College of Ag at Griffin, um, we offer six of the nine academic departments through College of Ag, and you can see those listed there. Um, we also offer 14 non-academic departments like Continuing Ed. Um, we have a Landscape Pest Management Center here. We offer the Master Gardener Program through Extension. Um, Young Scholars Program is a great opportunity for high school students. <clears throat> we also have three research centers. So the Center for Food Safety is a top one. So maybe you've seen some E. coli breakouts or um, recalls come through maybe on Facebook or other social media sites. A lot of that research is done here on our campus and through our professors and researchers. And so, as I mentioned before, you may have your hand in doing some of that research and finding out why maybe a product was recalled or how we can better sustain our food productivity. Um, we also have um, 50 average total students for College of Ag. 80% um, of that population are graduate students and about 20% are undergraduate. Um, and we also offer four degrees. And so one graduate degree, the Master's of Plant Protection and Pest Management, and then we also have three undergrad degrees. So we offer agribusiness, biological science, and environmental resource science. So maybe you're thinking about this and it sounds all great. So how do you really get here? So these are admissions requirements for the University of Georgia Griffin campus. So you do have to have 60 transferable credit hours. And when I say transferable credit hours, this is why we are here to help you. Um, so within the state of Georgia, there's a university system and all of those credits that you take will come over. However, if you are outside of the university system, that's when it gets a little bit iffy on the classes that you take. We do have a transfer eligibility site through our admissions department and you can look at that and look at any classes that you've taken to see what you took at your other school and how it'll transfer over. However, like I mentioned, that's what we're here for. So if you are in need of a transfer plan, maybe you've already started college somewhere else, or if you haven't started college, still contact us. We want to make this transfer process as easy and seamless as possible for you guys. So we're going to lay out a transfer plan of exactly what classes you need to get you here. So in addition to the 60 credit, the transferable hours, you need a 2.8 or higher GPA. And same with your, um, your, G, your semester hours, it may be calculated a little bit differently. So again, reach out to us if you're on that borderline. Most of our students are above that, so it's not really a concern. However, um, we can work with you through um, an appeal process if you are a little bit lower on your GPA, but have all the other requirements. You also have to be graduated from high school for 12 full months. Um, so if you graduated in May of this year, you would have to wait at least until fall semester next year to apply um, and start at university at our campus here in Griffin. Um, as along with that, kind of, you know, you have to have at least one year of college, which is not an issue because you have to have those 60 transferable uh, transferable hours. Um, and then you also have to have your major prereqs for the degree that you're interested in, which we'll get into. So depending on your major, um, and if you kind of change your mind throughout the process, it's important to reach out um, to us or maybe another director of the program to really see what you're missing um, as in major prereqs. Since we are a completion campus, meaning you transfer into us, we don't offer those freshman and sophomore level classes you have to have those before you start with us. Um, if you don't have those, then there's really nothing you can take once you get here because they are all junior and senior level classes. So maybe you're thinking also kind of what process, where do I go from here from where you are? Um, so if you're still in high school, this is a great slide for you to kind of just um, see where you are and what you should do next. So ninth and 10th grade, it's really important to meet with your counselor, map out kind of what you're interested in, jot down some ideas, um, go volunteer somewhere. If you're interested in um, going to vet school, you know, go volunteer during some summer hours at a vet clinic or like, you know, if you're interested in the medical field, go volunteer to hospital, kind of get your, your feet wet into those career options. This is really, really important. So no matter what age you are, start a list of awards, projects, community service hours, no matter what it is, extracurricular activities, just pull up a Google spreadsheet, start typing. It doesn't have to be a full list, just put some notes you'll remember, because I guarantee you if you did something in ninth grade for maybe an hour or two when you come to senior year and you're applying to all these colleges and you know maybe your job's asking for them, you're not gonna remember. So just make it easy, pull up a Google spreadsheet, just start typing away. 
Also, go ahead and look at taking the PSAT just to kind of gauge where you are and see kind of what areas you need to improve on. And then, like I said, start researching majors and kind of really get a feel of what you're interested in. Um, so when you get to junior year of high school, start going to all those college fairs that are on campus and visits and things like that and presentations like what you're doing now. It's a great opportunity. Um, reach out to colleges that you're interested for. Go visit them. I always tell my students that, you know, I can talk to you all day long about our campus, but if you step here, um, step foot on our campus and it's not for you, you're going to know. You're just going to know that this isn't the right place for you. And we want to help find you the right place because you're going to be most successful wherever you feel comfortable. Um, so go visit. Go visit all the colleges that you're interested in. Go ahead and take or retake the PSAT, like I said, just to kind of gauge where you are, and then take the ACT or SAT. Um, go ahead and start narrowing down those options of colleges. Like I said, those visits are crucial to kind of mark off what you're not interested in. Um, and like I said, just plan those college visits. So 12th grade, senior year, you're almost there. So kind of how do you keep on track at this point? So meet with your counselor on a, on a regular basis. Make sure if you're taking dual enrollment, all of those credits are on track to graduate. Meet with them um, just to see what other college opportunities, scholarship opportunities that are out there for your grades, your GPA, things like that. And then it's time to start applying to college. So I always tell my students apply to at least three colleges, at least have a few backup plans just in case something happens. Maybe even if you do get in, something changes your mind and you want to go to a different route. Um, so like I said, apply for those. And then if your SAT or ACT score is not quite high enough to where you want it to be, go ahead and retake that. Um, a lot of scores super score your SAT um, or ACT score. So if you scored higher in one sitting in math and one in English, then we'll kind of look at both of those high scores. And then complete the FAFSA. So important to get your financial aid, complete it early during your senior year. Um, you can find out more information about that through Georgia Futures, but that's really important. So to kind of transition into our ag dogs and our programs, I would like to show you just a quick video about where some of our ag dogs have gone and maybe you know some of these. What drew me to the University of Georgia and uh, just the ag schools, I think they have a great program. My favorite class was probably one I took this semester with Dorfman. Uh, I think it was 4760. We learned a lot just how, how food is, you know, carried from the farm, like, or wherever to, to the plate. Well, I love all the ag school teachers, you know, they're all great. My favorite uh, class so far in the College of Ag has been um, ag policy, I guess. I actually tweet all my professors, it's funny. What I enjoyed most of my time at the College of Ag was probably the connections and the people I've met. A lot of great people work there in, in Connor Hall. Everyone, like, is great, all the people are great. It's somewhere that you can feel comfortable. My favorite memory here was probably winning the SEC championship. My favorite memory at UGA was winning the uh, SEC championship a couple weekends ago. I love part of the UGA South Carolina game and how awesome that game was. Uh, I'd recommend College of Ag simply because it's small classes. I would definitely recommend the College of Ag to other students. I'd recommend the College of Ag just because it's like small classrooms. You get no professors and not everyone around. Definitely interactive in this man. I mean, College of Ag can help you in any, um, any career you want to take in life and it's very helpful and essential. So it's really cool that you might be taking some of the same classes that our Ag Dog athletes talked about. Um, and you'll be having the same professor, same assignments, things like that. Um, and who knows who you may be in a class with as well. Um, so these are all of our um, agricultural degrees. The ones highlighted in red are the ones that we offer at the Griffin campus. But you can see we really have a wide variety of anything that you're interested in. So if you have a taste for the sciences, um, we have animal science, like it says, biological science here at the Griffin campus, um, food science, dairy science, poultry science. Um, if you're good at making connections, we have agribusiness. So if you want to maybe go into the business side of agriculture, um, that's a great option. It's a little bit more diverse than just maybe a regular business degree. Um, you're, you're learning about specific commodities and things like that. And so um, I heard a recent study that one in three graduates now will go into some form of agriculture. Um, I'm a recent graduate. I just got a general business degree and here I am in agriculture. So agriculture is not what you think of going out to a field and farming. Um, we do have those farmers and they are so important. However, everything you touch on a day-to-day -day basis, everything almost you feel, you eat, um, you look at, everything has to do with ag. So I, I would ask you to go through a day without thinking of something that maybe came from a farmer or somehow a field. Um, 
Agribusiness is so important, um, specifically when you go to the grocery store, when you have all of these brands of maybe chicken meat that you're looking at, you automatically pick up the one with the most color or the um, best looking packaging. And that's what agribusiness is also selling that product that our farmers are so great at um, either making or producing, growing, things like that. But then we also need the people to come in and really sell their products. Um, you can see we also have hospitality and food management, um, communication, education. If you want to be a teacher, we are a great college for you to come and learn how to be an ag teacher. Um, maybe if you enjoy the outdoors, environmental resource science is a great option. Um, we also have turf grass, um, horticulture, water and soil resources. Um, so really anything outdoors that you're interested in, we offer a degree for that. So just to kind of go in a little bit more in depth of the degrees that I were talking about, like I said, the business of agriculture is really important to our farmers because they know how to grow their products really well, but they need somebody to come in and really take that to the next level. Maybe they need a financial advisor or maybe they need somebody to come in and manage their farm. Um, all of those different aspects to making their farm really successful comes from our business degrees. Um, leadership communication, like I said, you can do agri agricultural communication. So if you see um, the Farm Bureau magazine um, or different products like that, um, most of those are written by ag communication majors. And so there's agriculture that needs to be reported all over the world. Um, our turf grass, um, for example, on sports fields, a lot of people write about that. Um, and also, like I said, agriculture education is so important right now. We, we need a lot of ag teachers to come in. Um, like I said, the science of agriculture. Obviously, you can't have agriculture without science, and so we are very heavily uh, based in our College of Ag with our sciences. So, like I said, if you want to work indoors or outdoors, we both we have both of those degrees from biological science to environmental resource science. Um, so, really, no matter what aspect of science really interests you, we have that option for you. And you can just see all of the options that we do have. Another great opportunity that we have through um, UGA is our double dog program. And so we do offer one um, program through the College of Ag here at the Griffin campus. Um, it starts with your environmental resource science and you can complete your master's of plant protection and pest management. And so really the way this works, um, your, you get your bachelor's and your master's within five years. And so your junior and senior level, when you start with us, you'll start taking graduate level courses along with your environmental resource science um, courses. And then after you, a year after you graduate with your environmental resource bachelor's degree, then you'll have a master's degree. And especially in the science field, that is so crucial because it can be an automatic pay bump. So you're really only spending a year extra um, in college versus you know, maybe if you graduate and come back, it could be two or more years. And so it's just a great opportunity to really streamline your college process and make it a little bit shorter, but you still get all of that great knowledge and experience, um, specifically from our Griffin campus. Um, just to throw this in here, we do offer other UGA um, degree programs at the Griffin campus. You can just kind of see those up on the screen. Um, if you have any specific questions about those, um, you can reach out to me and I can get you in contact with the right person. But we are not just an ag campus, although we do specialize in agriculture here. So we do offer those other degree programs. And a lot of students double and triple major in some of these, which is kind of why I'm putting that up there. So maybe you are interested in business, but you're also interested in maybe um, consumer economics. So you can double major with those and we're here to help you work through that as well. So again, how do you get here? I mentioned those prerequisites earlier in the presentation. So these outline um, what exactly you need for each major that we offer through the College of Ag. So they're gonna be different, like I mentioned. So if you change your mind specifically from like a business mindset to one of our science majors, it's important to go ahead and reach out so we can rework that transfer plan. Um, so for the agribusiness, you're gonna need economics, accounting, um, statistics, um, math, calculus. Um, so it is very heavily um, in the accounting and math formulas. However, if you're looking at the sciences, biological science, you're going to need biology one and two, chemistry, uh, freshman chemistry, organic chemistry one and two, and physics. And then um, our ERS environmental resource science is even a little bit different where you have to have, we re uh, require economics or geometry, calculus, physics, and then also your biologies and chemistries as well. So like I said, we are here to help you develop a transfer plan. So whichever degree that you're interested in, we can develop that one for you and make it so easy for you to transfer. 
So maybe you're looking at all these programs and say, that sounds great. However, I really want to go on to a professional level school, maybe med school or vet school. Well, um, we offer routes to all of those. So you can go to law school, you can go to vet school, or you can even go to med school from us. So um, a popular track right now is coming to and getting your environmental resource science degree and then going to law school. We have um, a huge need for environmental lawyers right now. And so they come and get their um, basics for what they're going to defend and then they go into law school and do great at defending it in court. We also have a lot of med track programs. So most of our sciences can either go to vet school, med school, pharmacy school, uh, physical therapy school. So really any of those medical fields that you're looking at, um, because we do offer um, or require our students to take the upper level sciences um, that most of those colleges and graduate schools require, it's a really seamless transfer process um, when you start applying to graduate school. Another great opportunity through the College of Ag is we um, require experiential learning and that's across the university wide. Um, however, we are very um, fortunate where our dean um, made a promise to all of our students that they will have the opportunity to enrich their college experience beyond the classroom. Um, and we have tons of opportunities for you to do that. We have tons of scholarship money for you to do that. Um, whether you want to stay close by, um, do research here, or do a study abroad in the state, or if you want to go to England or Costa Rica, we have all of those options for you. So like I said, you can study abroad. Um, we have a cocoa bean class. We have a chocolate class. We have one that um, looks at the gardens in Rome. And so it's just a, a wide variety of options that you can really see the world as a student and get class credit for it. Um, you can do an exchange where you go across um, and live somewhere maybe for a semester or a whole year um, and then we also have certificates in international ag so maybe you want to do ag but you want to focus um, globally so we can we offer that as well. In addition to going worldwide, we also have closer trips. Um, so we have a spring break ag tour um, that happens spring break every year. You sign up for a one hour lecture. You, they usually meet once a week. And then during spring break, you um, tour the whole state. So we go from different um, packaging plants to peanut farms to peach farms. Um, really just see the state and what's available for you guys to study um, and work in once you graduate. Another opportunity is our research. I've already talked about how great our faculty is. Um, and like I said, they're always looking for lab assistants to come in and really um, just experience what goes on in their lab. And our researchers here are phenomenal. They're not just supervisors. They're really mentors and they really help you gain your experience that you need. And a lot of our students um, love going to their, their labs to work because what they learn in class, they actually have a chance to apply and get paid for and get experience. And so that's a great opportunity as well. Um, and then we also have different community service learning um, classes that you can take to really get out in the community and really make a difference. Other opportunities we have, um, you can see our fellowships there. We have a congressional fellowship in DC, and then we also have one in Atlanta. So these are great, even if you don't want to get into politics, because you do network and make connections. And so what great opportunity would that be to have a congressman or a senator on your resume when you start applying to jobs? And so um, a lot of our ag business majors pursue these internships, um, even our um, agriculture education students do. Um, so really, no matter what you're interested in, it's a great opportunity to just kind of See, um, see the cities from a different point of view. And then we also offer our ambassador program. And so this is one of the highest organizations you can join at UGA. Um, it's very prestigious. You get the red jackets that you see there. Um, and it's just really the face of UGA. And so we use our ambassadors all the time. They're great um, representatives for our campus. Um, they get to meet different people that come visit. Um, you know, they help out with tours, things like that. Um, and they're, like I said, they're just really the face of our campus. Another really cool opportunity I like to tell my students about is we offer something, if you've ever seen Shark Tank, we offer something very similar. So we call it Fabricate. And as you can see kind of towards the bottom of that slide, we'll give you up to $10,000 to help jumpstart your idea. And so whoever wins at the end of the contest, um, you are given scholarship money. And this scholarship money can be your, used towards tuition books, it can be used towards the product that you make, or it can be used to go on a shopping spree for whatever that you're interested in. And so um, we pair up teams and you really form your teams and you work with um, a professor or researcher about your product and you start at the semester and with an idea or a business plan and throughout the semester you really build on it and make that product or plan successful. And so then at the end we have 
um, kind of what you see going into the Shark Tank um, and you go in and there's a panel of judges um, and they really pick which product that they they enjoy the most. Um, one of our past winners now has a cupcake shop in Athens and so they use the money that they were awarded to open their own business and before they graduated college, they had their own business in downtown Athens. So it's just a really cool opportunity. If you already know something that you're interested in and you want to take something to the next level, um, like I said, you get course credit for it. You can win scholarship money and you have the, the experience of researchers and people that have already been in those shoes to help you along the way with your product. So I've mentioned a lot throughout the presentation about scholarships and money. And so College of Ag is great with their scholarship. So last year we had almost $300,000 given away with a 70% award rate. And so that's a pretty good return on investment for filling out one application. And so in addition to our, our main scholarships in Athens, we do have five Griffin in-house scholarships that you apply for here through Griffin. And then we have one that you apply through through Athens for Griffin students. Um, in addition, there's college-wide scholarships and departmental scholarships. Scholarship. So there's really four or five different levels of scholarships that you could be awarded um, to help pay for your UGA tuition. So maybe you're thinking that all this does sound great, but what can you really do once you graduate? And so these are just some of our career paths that um, have been self-reported by our previous graduates. And so um, for maybe agribusiness that you're looking at, like I mentioned, um, you don't really have to go into farming if you you know, want to pursue agriculture, financial counseling, um, banking and lending, um, natural resource management, um, marketing, business ownership, maybe farm management. All those are great aspects to an agribusiness degree. Um, and you can see the average starting salary there is about 65000 so what about our biological science degree? Um, we have biotech, food industry, forensic science, um, any kind of medicine field. Um, like I said, if you like doing indoor work, lab work, things like that, biological science is a great opportunity for that. Um, and that's average starting salary is about 55,000 for that. And then our environmental resource science degree. So it's kind of similar to biological science. Like I mentioned before, it's more outdoors. Um, so you take, um, field samples, ecologists, conservation specialists. This is a great degree if you want to be a county extension agent. And like I mentioned before, it goes great into our Masters of Plant Protection and Pest Management, whether you want to do the double dog or you want to just come to us for one degree and then take some time off and come back later. Um, so that average starting salary is about 40000 so maybe you're thinking that you want to go into graduate school. We have a great op options for those as well. So we actually have the highest placement at UGA for graduate school. So it's not guaranteed that you'll get in, but it's a pretty high chance when you graduate from College of Ag that you'll be able to get into graduate school. So like I mentioned before, um, law school, um, dentistry school, uh, if you want to be a vet, we have options for all those. Um, in addition to the master's and graduate level degrees that we offer through the College of Ag. So um, we do offer master's of plant protection and pest management here. Year, but we also offer a wide variety of graduate degrees um, through our Athens and Tifton campus as well. And a lot of students um, do their research here on our campus and then occasionally go to Athens to do their, their coursework. So if there is a degree that you're interested in and a researcher um, or a research field here on our campus, we can also plug and play with that researcher as well. So with that, I will end my presentation. Um, and like I said, there's my contact information again. So I hope you have learned something about the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences today. And like I said, if you have any questions, I know this is a lot of information to process. Um, no matter what stage of life that you're in, maybe you're a non-traditional wanting to go back, we can help you with that. I promise you we can help you with that. Maybe you're still in high school and you're you know, not even thinking about what you want to graduate with your bachelor's degree. We can still help you with that because we can get you a transfer plan. Like I mentioned, we can start you somewhere else. Um, you know, whether that's dual enrollment classes to help jumpstart um, your two years somewhere else or either just starting after you graduate um, high school. So no matter what stage of life, we are here to help you and we will have a transfer plan developed for you specifically. So um, really the easiest process is, like I said, to shoot me an email. Um, if you have a copy of your unofficial transcripts, you can attach those and I can go ahead and start a transfer for plan. However, if not, we can just start a conversation about what degree program is the best fit for you. So I hope, like I said, you learned some information today. And if there's anything that I can do to help you along your UGA journey, please reach out and thank you for listening.